America's public enemy number one in the United States is drug abuse. In order to fight and defeat this enemy, it is necessary to wage a new all-out offensive. CBS News has learned the maker of OxyContin is offering to pay billions of dollars to settle thousands of lawsuits stemming from the opioid crisis. Drugs were used by the CIA to carry out a covert action that had been forbidden by Congress. I remember down in Central America, we were refueling planes full of cocaine coming into the U.S., and uh, it was a CIA uh, operation being run by the White House. When you have a government that, uh, that promotes drugs to get, to get their agendas across in Central America, and South America, in Southeast Asia, and Southwest Asia, and then puts its own people in jail for using them, are you really living in a free country? When I was young, I always thought having money was everything in life. Now when I'm older, I know it is. My father once told me, learn the rules of the game and play better than anyone else. Now here I am faced with a major dilemma. My uncle Lopes put his dirty little hands in the cooking jar. He stole two bricks of cocaine and a pure kilo of heroin. But I got some for his disrespectful ass. If a man gives his neighbor money or goods to be kept safe, and those goods end up stolen, when the thief is found, we make his ass pay with a thousand deaths, you dig? Because the rob that smiles, he steals something from the thief. He ain't got nothing to say. <laughs> I see. Have a minute with him. Everyone sees what you appear to be. Few experience who you really are. If I let this sneaky motherfucker get away with this shit, he gonna think I'm a chicken box with mumbo sauce. See, I'm a man of great principle and won't let no one in the way of those principles. I stand on them. Not even my Uncle Los, who I had nothing, I mean nothing but love for. He broke my heart deep, deep down inside. But you know what they say, it's always those who are closer to you that inflict the most damage though. Hmm. I guess you never expect your weakness to be used against you by someone you trust. You ain't seen my brother, you ain't seen Luke? Nah, I ain't even seen him, Mom. Mm -hmm. He probably somewhere running his mouth as usual, you know? Yeah, but he been hitting my phone the other day. Oh, he must have had something to tell me. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah he always got something to say. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I ain't even seen him, though. Yeah. Cook here, man. I ain't heard from you in a while, man. What's been going on with you? These damn Nigerians, man. Who are you supposed to get with him? Man, well, I already hit him. He supposed to come through if you want to stick around. The Nigerian boy is coming through, you know. You know, you know. I don't know what your time looking like, but you know. Yeah, yeah, ain't no rush, right? I can stay many customers a little bit, man. Hey, folks. Yeah. Adonis, my brother. What's going on, my brother? Man, I bring you love from Africa, my brother. How are you? Uh, man, I'd be better, but you keep spoon feeding me. 
Like I got these blocks, my people need me, man. I'm bringing you three hundred. Listen, listen. I'm bringing you three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I'm not showing you no money. Though. I know, and, you, and I'm rich. You see, look, you see that? That's how my dog feels. I feel like, hey, so, feel like I I don't getting know what's fucked. going on with this dog. Like I'm getting fucked. This is this is nonsense, man. This is very disrespectful. We don't do this in Africa. Can you get this dog off me? I no. mean, look at. Come on, get out. Look at down. this. Down. Get down. Look. This is the thing. I don't show you no money. Though. I know, and you don't so have to you tell me because to... I know I'm you trying. Know, like, come on. Understand. Listen, I understand, my brother. Do you? But I'm telling you, the new president in Nigeria right now, eh? He used to be in the military, right? And he has shut everything down. Okay. So you make it very difficult. It's coming, no problem. So what they got to do with me? We need we to speed brothers. it up like mixing gas. We are brothers. Gas. We are brothers. You brothers. Said... This is from this love from Africa, my brother. I'm telling you right now, it's coming. Okay, well, guess what? The money coming. The well, money I give you well, every week. supposed to have the money Listen, here, though. 350000 be here every week. But right now, it's not here. It's coming. But oh, you've known me for a long time, my brother. You know me for a long time. Okay, so why is the money not here, though? Spoon feed me, Baba. You gotta wait. Oh God, you look fake as shit. Adonis, what you want me to do with this nigga bomb? Throw his fucking head off. You come in my place, right, Baba? And you, you, you whip out? You're my friend. It's just the money, my friend. It's the money. I got the money every week, though. 350 Boy. motherfucking thousand dollars. Can you tell your guy to take the gun from my face? I mean... Can you tell me. your guy to take the gun it's from my right. face? This is not business. It's Adonis. Baba, I told you the money coming. Where's the money, though? Where's the money? Oremi, where's the money? The money's here. The money's here? The money's here. My word, my word, my word. The money's here. Gentlemen. Don. You see? Hmm. You're my friend. Oh, yeah. You're my friend. So the money is here now. I'm your friend. Yes. I told you. I bring love from the motherland, my friend. Hmm. I bring love from the motherland. I told you. Yeah, if we can keep this train moving a little faster, though, I don't like baby food. Extra love, my friend. The show was gonna ask you where the rest of them jumps was. Extra love, baby. Good deal. No problem, my friend. Hey, man, what was all that about before I walked in this joint, though? Man, you know the connecting that drainage, man. I, I'm just going through that same old process with him spoon feed me and yeah. trying to get the streets right. You feel what I'm saying? But they ain't nothing. We took that shit. I felt kind of funny, man. It was a lot of tension, and I ain't, yeah. I ain't had no peace on me. All I had was a bag. Yeah, you should have felt funny. I feel funny with me giving this nigga three hundred fifty thousand dollars on time every week. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah, it got a little sticky earlier. You know. So what you need me to do, man? I need you to go over late guys I used to mm -hmm. holler at Rock Mon and give him this and tell him meet me at the club. He know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? It's it's time to move. Another move on my chessboard gets me closer to my agenda. Deceased's favorite role is playing the victim. <laughs> so why attempt to win by force? What can be won by deception? The devil just don't come dressed in a red cape and pointy horns. He comes as everything you've ever wished for. And what I wish for is not to be a sinner. But that's highly unlikely, knowingly, I'll sin again. This, this is crack cocaine seized a few days ago by drug enforcement agents in a park just across the street from the White House. 1989 was one of the most dangerous times in Washington, D.C. history. The crack epidemic took over our city and made us the murder capital of America. 
It was also one of the biggest drug conspiracy cases in D.C. history. Rayful Lebanon and his 18 co-defendants was charged with running a $2 million a week cocaine operation. Edmund was jailed at a maximum security facility in Quantico, Virginia, and flown by a helicopter to a federal court in Washington, D.C., each and every day for trial. And just when we thought it couldn't get no worse for our city, me and Marion Barry was caught on camera using crack cocaine in the FBI state. Let me set up. I done a bit. And while the District of Columbia was a city under siege, a 14-year-old kid managed to slip through the cracks. Hmm? You think I can work for ball too? I could be a lookout or a delivery boy like you. I don't know, Rockman. I got ass. Or I could be his hitman. Bang, bang! Punk ass nigga. He ain't got no gun, Charlie. <laughs> so I try to get one. I think you explain very unfortunate. No, I'm Rockman. Murder is an unlawful killing of another human being without justification or valid excuse. What makes me so different from a police officer shooting an unarmed black man? <laughs> what makes me so different from the United States military invading countries like Iraq, killing thousands of innocent people without justification and without finding weapons of mass destruction? What makes me so different from a young punk doing a drive-by killing innocent children, pregnant mothers, old ladies? <laughs> my actions, my reasoning, my code of ethics, my principle, my honor. That's what makes me so different. Don't judge me, judge thyself. My good friend Katya, she explained to me that you might be in need of my services. It's important to me, Rahman. And Katya had told me that I could use your services. But that depends. Um. What? Oh, um, what, it, the circumstances. Well, I, I need you to rid me of one of my worst nightmares. Every time I close my eyes, I can, I can see this man's face. I can smell his cologne. And uh, I could I could feel I could feel him forcing himself on me. And I live with this pain. And I I want him to feel the same pain that I feel every day. And I want him gone. Gone, and I'm willing to pay a hefty price to make that happen. You know, it's, it's never about the money, woman. It's not about the money. So, so what is it that it's motivates more, a man like you? More so justification. Justification. I go to a particular place, find a particular person, make sure that he's never seen again, ever. I only kill for two reasons. One, if a person owes something that he no needs to be rectified. Two, maybe just dancing with that bitch calm for way too long. I never break the law for any other reason. Any other No extortion, nothing. So with that being said. Well, Rahman, 
I feel that I will be needing your services after all. Time. While us and Sam LFV Kusa, that's a fascinating way of showing me what really matters. I gave most of my time to 99 victims who was affected by life's injustices. Dr. Klopp, a victim of a litigation lawyer's unjust acts, my 99th case that I gotta prosecute. The suspect has been identified, the indictment is filed, time for the proceedings to begin. Bad news. What the fuck is this? What was that dog food? Dog food, man. We can't even get that shit away, bro. They don't even want that All shit. All that shit, man, we can't give it away. Them people that like, fucking with us, they walking past me. They don't give a fuck about us out here. It's fucked up, man. They killing us, man. Them young niggas killing us with the shit they got. I don't know where they getting it from, but it's under the African motherfucker, man. Man, I've been calling this nigga, texting him all fucking day, dog. So all that shit bad. I supply. Fuck. So basically, you telling me this nigga gave us an alpo. So you telling me this all this just bullshit. Fucked up. Can't make a dime off of it. Straight bullshit. No, we got cross. We got cross. Huh? Yeah. Oh, shit. Dog, oh, listen. This nigga bullshit! Northeast, Southeast, Southwest, Uptown, Maryland, no fucking money, man! None! We're losing money! I want this nigga head FedEx back to Africa tonight! Everybody calling every fucking phone I got. Donuts, what's up, home? What's up? I can't make nothing, African motherfucker. I want this to be gone too fucking night. I need this nigga head, FedEx, back to fucking Africa, home. Never was anything great achieved without danger. That's what my father taught me. It's been 26 years since he died. And I can still hear his words to this day. Know that your father loves you. I would give you anything. The greatest gift I can give you is the gift of wisdom. If I give you a fish, you will feed yourself for one day. But if I teach you to fish, you will feed yourself for the rest of your life. No matter what that man did, what do you want? I want to get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck on it. Sorry, ass nigga. Go! Bitch. My mother always loved him and had his back. She sure? Why is dad always acting so crazy? I don't like them. Adonis, don't talk about your father like that. No matter what he does, he's still your father, okay? You got that? Is that clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I always ask, how could you be so selfish and do this to your family? Why have you forsaken us? Why did I, Adonis Blackwell, have to inherit your pain, your misery, your sorrow? Why? If you can only imagine the feeling I had when I opened the door to see my father laying there dead from a heroin overdose. Mm. That day is when I became a product of my environment.
Hey, where's Baba? Baba is here. Where is he? Come this way. Yes. Oh my Baba. goodness. Yes, I'm coming. Baba. God, this nigga has made it. He has an upstairs and a downstairs. Please, this way. Yes, my brother, I'm coming. Shit. Which way? This way, please. They're very hostile, my brother. Please. Oh, I met you. Okay. Oga, Oga, how lot to show Oga? We must show Oga big time. No sense. My brother. You have made it, look. You are my friend. You have water running in the water. You look this thing. You always have. Hey. Hey, Tojo. Yeah. Tojo, thank you. We take good care of you. Thank you. Hey. Very good care of him, eh? Hi. I will see you with the funny man after I walk. Don't play with me. The devil is a liar. You could have my child support money. How long do you think you'll with Kali? <laughs> take your glasses off. Just relax. Never mind. No, no, take it off. I want to relax, please. Uh, okay. Goodness. I guarantee you, Gandhi, Gandhi will take good care of you. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. That, that guy came in that sense. Wow. That, that for me. Uh, that yeah. for me. Hmm, what you working with? Oh, I'm working with you. Don't want to know this. I do want to know. Sex to me is like a football game. American niggas are first and ten. Me, I'm fourth and long. Get ready for this touchdown, my sister. Okay, touchdown. Touchdown. I go it's gonna all be a touchdown. Oh yeah. Hey, take your jacket off, babe. Hey, yes, I have. Mm, see how deep you can go. All right, I'm ready. Ready? You know what they call me candy, right? Why? I'm gonna show you. Just take your take your shirt off. You're doing too much. I am, please. Let me help you. My new chain I just bought that today. Take that off. It's my sister. So fast. Am I? Yes. You was talking out of the junk and all of it. I was. Yeah, please. That's what I'm working with. My side. Are you ready already? Are you ready? Okay. Is this size is just an extra small? No, it's not. It's my size. It's, it's a medium. Hmm. Sweetheart, please. I got this. Yes, you do. My neck is sensitive. Please don't do that. Please, just by the oh my god, I hit that part. Please don't. No. Where? Mm -hmm. Please, but, 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 please don't, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. What the fuck? Nigga! Did you just fucking come? Everything I did. How the fuck did you just come? I came, I have to go. I'm sorry. What happened to the long dick in football field? I fumbled. The fuck? I have a business meeting with our Baba. I have to go. He's a nigga. Don't tell them about this. What type of African dick is that? I don't know. Thanks for the woman, man. It was, huh? it was great. Ah, yeah. You yeah. think so? I beat the shit out of that. You I, I tore her ass up. Did she, did she come or you came? Correct. Oh, <laughs> look, my brother. I don't fucking come. I'm here to beat the woman. You know what I mean? But I like the African thing. Huh? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, she told me about you, man. She said you don't last that long at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's do this. No, no, no. That's, <laughs> that's not sense. That's not sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nigga, you still have the little dick hair you always have. But, 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 this is on his way. It's always about joke about you, man. It's about joke. This is business, my brother. I'm saying it's business. You, you know, know you're my friend. Hey, we go way back, my brother. We go way back. I got told you, you still kept short. I see. Oh. You, you still, uh, uh, hey, you but still take it. And you don't your bike. You still get on the ladder oh, to get in your car. My brother. Let's, let's just let's let's collect what we have. Do you still get in the ladder to get in your car, my pass brother? It, pass it over here. Let you, need, you still need ladder to eat pussy, huh, my yeah. brother? So they, uh, you're always funny. You're funny, man. Yeah. African funny, man. Yes. You for that soccer. African shadow, funny, man. Shadow, yeah. funny right you know why I like, you know like hanging with you so much? Every time we're next to you, I look like a dime. You are so fucking ugly, man. Oh, wow. 
You like a grown up carton from Fresh Prince. <laughs> Can you yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. I have all the money, my brother. Baba, 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 Baba. I'm going to say, 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 Talking too much with so much money in your bag. When you have this type of money, you don't talk too much. Why not just bring the bag closer? Just bring the bag closer. Let's check it and be sure. What a minute. The money is there. We have to make sure. How much is here? Is that not part of it? Sure, this is complete. Everything is complete, please. I'm very impressed with the house. Very nice house. That's a big house. Even has a fucking elevator. Okay, go do it. But listen, that's not. That's not. That's not, bro. That's not one thing. That's not. How many payments you have left, my brother? <laughs> Rest in peace, mother sucker. <laughs> mother sucker, mother. So who's the mother sucker now? Baba and mother sucker. We need that for all this shit. And I used to like this idiot. Shut up, shut up. You won't shut the fuck up. We can't afford that sucker. Mother sucker now. Baba, mother sucker. Boy Panama, man, he come and uh, bring the work back, and it's, it's trash, nothing. I mean, right. like garbage, Alpo. I need his head on the platter. ASAP. What happened? Mama come in my office. His man whipped the job out, right? So news whipped the job back out. I got bone in my office and everything. So what happened? And look, Mario come in, exchange the money for the work. It was garbage, dog food, alpo. Yeah, nah, man. I'ma throw the motherfucking kitchen sink at this boy.